Hi Taurus, welcome to your week ahead Tarascope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, I'm back off my travels and you can do that on the website address below. And if you are not a part of the next Tribal Tuesday, which starts in September, you can sign Sign up for that or you can make an application for that on the on the uh, link in the description box below. Uh, it's been a fantastic one. We had an amazing group the first time around. I'm super humbled. It was literally one of the best things that I feel like I've ever done. Uh, there were some life-changing transformations that took place and it would be great to have you along. So with that said, before we start, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of life, uh, love, light, Peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's have a look see what the week ahead has in store for you. What is your destiny card for the week ahead? Taurus, this week you get the wheel of fortune, right? Luck, success and abundance but there is also a shift coming. You know, it could be something to do with the eclipse that we are going to have. Um, it's an interesting time for all of us, for sure. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune does suggest, for me, one of the things about the Wheel of Fortune, it always suggests you're reaping what you sow. What you've already put in, uh, you are now about to start to see some of the rewards uh, or some of the consequences from those actions. The fact that you have this as a destiny card means that this week you're getting the kickback. Whether it's a good kickback, whether it's a challenging kickback, you will know as it shapes up because it is deeply subjective to each person that experiences it, right? But it does suggest some something lucky. It does suggest some kind of synchronicity happens or shapes up and it's usually always in response to something that you've already done, to something that you've already put out there, but it's a very lucky card. It's also a very expansive card. So this week um, you could overindulge, you could sort of you know, whether that's spending, whether it's eating, whether it's drinking, all of the above. I know I did while I was on my travels and I'm definitely feeling it now. <laughs> With that said, um, let's have a look at your direction card. Let's see what this may relate to or what it could pertain to or what the context of this is. And this week you get the Seven of Swords, right? So, not an easy card, guys. You know me by now. I don't bullshit you. I just kind of give you it as it is. The Seven of Swords is probably my least favourite card in the whole deck. Um, you know, and there are some heavy ones, but I don't like this one because it suggests that there is always something... It, it's a snide card. It's something that always suggests something is being hidden and usually on purpose. Um, it can represent lies, it can represent deceit, it can even represent theft. So my advice to you, keep hold of your property, whatever you're doing this week, whether you're, you know, if you're going out and you're leaving the house, double lock the door, uh, check that you've actually locked the door, all that kind of stuff. Because sometimes, especially with the Wheel of Fortune, it could just be a surprise event that happens, you know, that one time that you forget to, I don't know, turn the washing machine off and for some reason it floods. We are in a Mercury retrograde, so just keep that in mind but with the seven of swords as a direction this really does suggest this is not a week for you to keep secrets if you feel something you've got to let it out if there's something that comes up that you see that you don't like do not bottle it up because if you do the chances are it will explode at a later date and it will probably not be very pleasant and I've always said with Taurians because they're so laid back most of the time when the shit hits the fan and they go crazy oh you do not want to see that um, so keep that in mind. But yeah, it does, if I'm honest, it looks like a secret will be divulged to you this week. The chances are somebody's going to tell you something and you're going to be like, well, fuck me. And you know, the thing about it as well, because the Wheel of Fortune's there and it has that kind of, it's not quite as shocking as say the Tower or um, the Fall. But it does bring that surprise sort of element. And, you know, this could see things, one, escalate very, very quickly. Uh, so keep your cool. Uh, the other thing about this as well, you could find yourself being privy to knowledge that you didn't have before by complete... Um, 
you know, I don't believe in coincidences, but by complete synchronicity, you know, and I, I've seen a similar pairing to this before. And, you know, what I always say is you could be somewhere and hear something and you're like, holy shit, like, you know, and it makes a lot of sense to you personally. So just keep an eye out for that. And with the Seven of Swords, like I said, this is not a week to keep secrets. Be, not that you wouldn't, but be honest and upfront and open about everything, all right? So let's have a look at your insight card. What is the peak behind the scenes? You get the temperance card. So your Seven of Swords moment is not gonna be that bad. Um, you've got a double hit of Sagittarian energy. Why do I say that? You've got the Wheel of Fortune, which represents Jupiter, the ruler of Sagittarius. Then you've got the Temperance card, which represents the sign of Sagittarius itself. It does look like you are this week going to have some sort of information that will reach your ears that will have you looking at a past event or a past experience and it will you'll start to understand it you will see the meaning behind those events and why somebody was behaving in a certain way why somebody said something and you know it's almost like you'll have that moment where somebody will say something to you or a secret secret will break and you'll go holy fuck that's what that was about and it looks like it's something that stretches back to last year um, you know, and the reason I say that because the Seven of Swords as a time sequence would be seven months. So this is, uh, yeah, this would be something that stretches back to probably uh, early December, very late November last year. You know, that's the sort of time sequence. But it looks like you're having some sort of realisation in response to something that um, was kept from you or hidden from you this week. So not an in t not an easy week for sure and you know we've got the eclipse this week as well which is going to be super super intense so you personally being above board um with everything and not keeping any secrets or anything like that will actually enhance your life because it will filter out and it's kind of like if you put that out there it's what you will get back right so i mean especially with the wheel of fortune that's what I got for you this week, my dear Torians. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments, if it's not too personal, uh, how it shapes up for you. Take care, and I'll see you soon.